Thanks for staying tuned to your station, the Africa Independent Television, and welcome to your program, Security Watch Africa. It's another edition of your weekly tonic where we bring you the information you need to keep your life safe and secured. Welcome to this program. Uh, it's, it's, uh, Security Watch Africa, it's one that uh, we may be able to say that wherever that news is, we'll bring it to you. In the past two weeks, we have been able to bring uh, reports of on the ground from uh, the Gambia and from Ghana. Uh, truly, as an African program, we'll go to every length to bring you this uh, program so that you get to know what is happening in other parts of Africa. Uh, but uh, most of the time, uh, we have been in the studio, like today, we are in the studio to bring this wonderful program again to you. My name still remains Patrick Abambo. Today, we'll be having um, uh, you know, a collection of items that are quite interesting, and we'll be talking more, a little more again about our coming 15th Africa Security Watch Awards conference and exhibition that is scheduled to take place November 13th, 14th, and 15th in, in, the, in Gambia. The Gambia. Uh, I'm telling you the heat is on. Um, a lot of people are excited and interested about it uh, from across Africa and beyond. Uh, we have people who have said, listen, we want to be part of this. We want to be able to see how we can contribute to the security of our continent. We must get Africa working in terms of security because there's no meaningful development that can take place if we are not secured. We'll also be celebrating those who have uh, be having sleepless nights uh, when you and I are snoring, sleeping in our comfort zones, in our beds at night. Some people are out there thinking of how we can be protected. It means in, this, in spite of all the security challenges that uh, confront us as a people, but some people have taken it upon themselves to make sure that we, there is peace and there is security and safety. Those people will be celebrating, and that is why we call them the best in those industry of safety and security. So come November 13th, 14th, 15th, uh, 2018 in Banju, the Gambia, we'll be celebrating uh, our heroes in terms of security and safety and, and media also. We'll also be looking at how best to handle uh, security challenges that confronted, confront us, particularly issues of uh, extremism. Uh, extremism have caused a lot of insecurity. Uh, so we have experts that will be coming in to look at what should be done, what is being done and what should be done. We need to draw examples and lessons from other areas where things are a, a bit better so that we can, we can re-strategize in our various uh, communities and our various countries. So we're having this, but unlike uh, Security Watch have always said that solutions to African problems lie in, lies in Africa. We must look within to bring out solutions. Um, that is for that, but we'll, we'll be telling you a, a little bit uh, more about it uh, sub, as the program progresses. But uh, during the week, uh, a lot of things had happened that people have said, uh, is Nigeria really safe? Uh, the, the incidents that happened in Kaduna and, um, and also the protests or what, I, I don't know what to call it now because uh, it resulted to lives of life and burning of uh, uh, government properties, vehicles and all that uh, by the Ed Zazaki's uh, group. Um, uh, it's really, really uncalled for. Uh, national security is paramount and we must respect, we must agree together that we must have security and safety so that we can move development. Without security, there can't be any human rights. So, and that is one thing that is important. A lot of people have said a lot of things about it, but on this program, we say security must be paramount. We must respect the rights of others too, to live and to do their be lawful businesses. Uh, away from that now, uh, we'll, be t we'll tell you that one of the things that have been working so well um, since um, uh, in the last two years, so two to three years, um, it's that the Nigerian army have, have, have transformed to an army that 
all over the world is very, very proud of. Everywhere Security Watch Africa goes, within Africa or outside Africa, uh, we're getting commendation from what the Nigerian Army is doing. And just recently, um, the Nigerian Army University is being opened. And from what we hear, that uh, what we had, that uh, university will be technologically base, uh, scientific, and a lot of others. So to help the idea of uh, our Nigeria innovation uh, strength and pro prowess. So sit back as we bring you a report um, by Security Watch Africa, NS Eniku, on what happened during the groundbreaking ceremony of uh, Nigerian Army University in Bu, Boronu State. Come November 13th to 15th, 2018, the 15th edition of the Africa Security Watch Awards Conference and Exhibition will be hosted in the Labranda Coral Beach Resort and Spa, Banjul, the Gambia. Join us as we celebrate Africa's best in governance, security, safety, aviation, environment, shelter, and media. Special guest of honor, His Excellency Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Chief host, His Excellency Adama Baru, President of the Gambia. Join General Joseph Nunu Mensa, retired Lieutenant General Tuku Buratai, Professor Jacob Mofokin, Dr. Kezie Kazu. It is my pleasure and privilege to invite all of us to the Gambia. I will be there to meet you personally and welcome you. Professor Henry Fauci and many knowledgeable Africans. Conference theme, effective leadership and good governance. Panacea to extremism and insecurity in Africa. Venue, Labranda Coral Beach Resort and Spa, Banjul, the Gambia. Date is 13th to 15th of November 2018. To join us, contact plus 234-909-915-4789 or plus 234-803-3397522 or email sec Watch Africa 1997 at gmail.com or info at org. We are all welcome and invited to the Gambia on the Security Watch Africa conference. It's a peaceful country. We'll support you, we'll secure you, and ensure that everybody's life is secured, your properties are secured. You're welcome to the Gambia, the smiling coast. Africa Security Watch Award. Security is everybody's business, so plan to attend. The Nigerian Army Tuesday performed the presidential groundbreaking ceremony of the Nigerian Army University, BU, an institution described by many as a true reflection of Nigerian self-reliance in science, technology, research, and training in all fields of human endeavor. The university, when fully operational, we use modern teaching approach to teach and equip students with tools to live and work in the 21st century. It will also equip them to compete with their counterparts in developed nations of the world. Performing the groundbreaking exercise, Minister of Education, Malam Adamu Adamu, who represented the Commander-in-Chief of Nigerian Armed Forces, President Mohamed Buhari, spoke on the significance of the university in achieving the federal government's desire to improve the educational well-being of Nigerians. As a government, we believe that it is by harnessing the full potential of education, especially at the high level, that Nigeria will be able to overcome her multiple challenges, from insecurity and corruption to the challenges of daily living. It is in this respect that the federal government, under my leadership, hit the ground running since the early months of our inauguration to improve the standard and increase access through various interventions, activities in the education sector. Now behind the establishment of the Nigerian Army University, for which we are gathered today in this place, is to expand access to educational opportunities for the teaming youth in Nigeria. Just as somebody asked me, what is the difference between this new university and the Nigerian Defense Academy? And the quickest way I could explain was to tell him that this University is for everyone. The Nigerian Defense Academy is for soldiers. The university, when fully operational, shall venture into various fields of specialization, including those not available in any Nigerian university at the moment. Some of these areas include artificial intelligence, weapons and armament technology, 
welding engineering, nanotechnology, and robotics technology. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukusu Buratai, earlier in his address, highlighted the need for the Nigerian Army to be futuristic so as to match its contemporaries in other advanced countries, especially in science, technology, innovation, and creativity. National armies of the 21st century are ICT compliant, technology based, and science prone establishments. The Nigerian army need not be left out in this regard. The test of credibility of the Nigerian army when supported by the university will therefore not only rely on its capability and capacity to execute legal violence in defending and securing the Nigerian nation, but also its ability to contribute to her equipment replenishment, which will add to national economic and security development. The university will run with the army signature of efficiency, and this no doubt will enable the institution to soar high to achieve its self goal, which is to develop the capacity of the Nigerian army to compete professionally and responsibly with other armies of the world. Whenever a national army such as the Nigerian army ventures into other domains, aside its professional calling of legal exhibition of violence and starts thinking, acting, researching and venturing into academic and intellectual affairs, it tends to arouse societal attention, principally because an army of a nation is basically professionally established to fight adversaries, defend the nation, secure and contribute to the development of the nation and indeed its citizens. It is in the context of the aforementioned facts that the leadership of the Nigerian army conceptualized and, and articulated ideas which led to the establishment of the Nigerian Army University Bill. The university is said to have a composition of 75% civilian populace, while even 25% will come from the Nigerian army. With the establishment of the Nigerian Army University, the desire of General Buratai to see the Nigerian Army professionally positioned in the discharge of its constitutional role and support in internal security when called upon is said to be realizable in no distant time. Ernest Enuneku, Security Watch Africa, Bill, Bono State. From November 13th to 15th, 2018, the 15th edition of the Africa Security Watch Awards Conference and Exhibition will be hosted in the Labranda Coral Beach Resort and Spa, Banjul, the Gambia. Join us as we celebrate Africa's best in governance, security, safety, aviation, environment, shelter, and media. Special guest of honor is Excellency Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Chief host is Excellency Adama Baru, President of the Gambia. Join General Joseph Nunu Mensah, retired Lieutenant General Tuku Buratai, Professor Jacob Mofokin, Dr. Kezie Kwazu. It is my pleasure and privilege to invite all of us to the Gambia. I will be there to meet you personally and welcome you. Professor Henry Fauci and many knowledgeable Africans conference theme, effective leadership and good governance, panacea to extremism and insecurity in Africa. Venue, Labranda Coral Beach Resort and Spa, Banjul, the Gambia. Date is 13th to 15th of November 2018. To join us, contact plus 234-909-915-4789 or plus 234-803-3397522 or email secwatchafrica1997 at gmail.com or info at swaace.org. We are all welcome and invited to the Gambia on the Security Watch Africa Conference. It's a peaceful country. We'll support you, we'll secure you, and ensure that everybody's life is secured. Your properties are secured. You're welcome to the Gambia, the smiling coast. Africa Security Watch Award. Security is everybody's business, so plan to attend. Welcome back. Um, that was a report uh, on the groundbreaking ceremony of the Nigerian Army Investing in Bew. 
uh, really, I think the Nigerian army is moving forward and uh, positioning to ensure that Nigeria is well protected. Um, kudos to Lieutenant General Tuku Yusu Buratai and his team for doing yeoman's job. And congratulations to all our soldiers uh, that are there in the battlefield, making sure that um, Nigeria is safe and safer. Uh, well, three years ago, one we would not have thought that something like this would happen in Biu, where because Biu was at a time being taken over by the Boko Haram insurgency. So for those who uh, still think that uh, the Boko Haram is still in control, we will be able to say that Nigeria Army has done so very well to protect and make sure that. Uh, Boko Haram, just the remnants of them that still causes one, one or two uh, uh, problems here and there, and which with the last hold, Operation Last Hold being carried out by the Nigerian Army, I'm sure that they will be pushed out totally out of uh, Nigeria and the country will become safer uh, than it used to be. Uh, we don't have time, so we we'll need to go quickly to the next report. Uh, uh, again, because of uh, reported is. is cases of insecurity, whichever way we look at it, when there are reports in the media that there is one clashes or incidents happening here or somebody is being killed, then people are disturbed. Though in most of the cases, some are being over exaggerated. But uh, I'm happy to say that uh, the, the security authorities, that is the Nigerian police, now that is in charge with international security, and they are not resting. They want to ensure that uh, uh, their men strategize better to ensure that uh, uh, there is security for Nigerians. And in line with that, the uh, all the commissioners of police, the, the assistant inspectors of police of various zones uh, met with the police management team and the inspector general of police in the IGP uh, monthly conference to re-strategize and look at how best to be able to tackle the insecurity that is being reported in the country. Um, so sit back as we bring you that report uh, from the IGP's conference. The state of security in Nigeria was a major trust at the Inspector General of Police, IGP Ibrahim Idris, conveyed the monthly IGP conference with the police management team, commissioners of police of various state commands, including the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, and heads of formation across the Federation. The meeting was timely, and the security agency charged with the internal security of Nigeria needed to immediately address recent security threats that has led to loss of life of innocent Nigerians. IGP Ibrahim Idris started his address by appreciating officers and men of the Nigerian police force for their dedication and relentless effort in ensuring security of life and property of Nigerians. I wish to appreciate and commend you and your personnel for the hard work in ensuring adequate security and safety of all Nigerians in your various jurisdictions nationwide. There is no doubt that the current security situation requires more efforts, commitments, and dedication to sustain the level of peace and tranquility that has been achieved by the young police force throughout the length and breadth of this country. I have called on you to be steadfast and more committed to the protection of lives and properties, preservation of law and order, prevention and decision of crimes, and criminality throughout the country. On the recent incident in Kaduna State, which left scores of people dead and destruction of properties worth millions of naira, and the protest march by the El Zazaki group in Abuja, the police chief had this to say. And uh, Nigeria is at peace now, obviously. And I think we have peace all over the country now. You know, most of this, just like I gave you an example of what happened in uh, Kaduna, which obviously I was in Kaduna just a few days back with the president, you know, for. For, us, for the president to address stakeholders meeting in Kaduna. I think that of Kaduna has been brought under control. And I think in Abuja here, just like I said, the CP is not here now. If said he was here, I would have told him to give you some brief on what we have been doing. Over 400 of these Islamic uh, movement, uh, what do you call it? In fact, what I would have preferred, they should be calling them ex exaki group. I don't think there is nothing Islamic about this, most of the things they do. Yes. Nothing Islamic there. So these are people that are trying to, you know, bring problem of, of security all over. And I think just like you see, the, the, the strategies adopted by the police, that's the best approach. You use the police to bring down some of these uh, uh, threats to the, to the peace of this country. I think it's, it's, it's something that is commendable. 
you've not had any loss of life within the police. What we do is that where you have a lot of uh, violent response, we use smoke. I think that's the maximum we use on them. And I think so far, and most of them that constitute themselves a security to the general well-being of the country were arrested. And like I said, over 400 of them were arrested, and we're taking all of them to the court. I have some briefing from the CP of FCT. Some of them are going to be charged to court on terrorism because they were arrested with bombs, you know, patrol bombs. These are terrorist acts, and some of them are going to be charged under that law. And some of them are going to be charged under this uh, rioting and what have you. And I think the response of the police has to be measured. Very, very important. Because, like uh, we said, these are Nigerians also, misguided countrymen. And I think it's very important we have to apply every uh, method to see that we bring the, their threats to the barest minimum. And I think that's what I've done. The Inspector General of Police also spoke on the successes recorded during the weapon op op operation carried out by the police across Nigeria. He said over 10,000 illegal firearms and prohibited weapons were recovered from members of the public. I've set up a committee headed by the DIG Department of op Operation comprising the United Nations organs, the ECOWAS and the Presidential Committee on Prohibition of Small Arms and Light Weapons and other critical stakeholders for the destruction that's of illegal weapons retrieved from members of the public before the general election. General election. Over 10,000 illegal arms and prohibited weapons and about 26,000 illegal ammunition rec were recovered during the mop-up ex uh, uh, exercise that was conducted you know, by various commands. In a related development, the IGP on Thursday decorated three newly promoted Deputy Inspector General of Police and three Assistant Inspector General of Police with their new ranks and missed applauds from those present. Where's your list? IGP Ibrahim Idris used the occasion to charge senior officers of the Nigerian police force to up their games in ensuring the safety and protection of lives of all Nigerians. The government and the people expect more from us in ensuring and safety of all Nigerians throughout the country. As we go into 2019 general election, the force will no longer tolerate laxity on the part of any commission of police who face to proactive to be proactive in dealing with crises and other violent crimes in the, their respective areas of responsibilities. We have to do more in ensuring adequate security throughout the country from now on to the till the election period uh, to the election period next year and beyond. Ernest Enuniku, Security Watch Africa, Abuja. From November 13th to 15th, 2018, the 15th edition of the Africa Security Watch Awards Conference and Exhibition will be hosted in the Labranda Coral Beach Resort and Spa, Banjul, the Gambia. Join us as we celebrate Africa's best in governance, security, safety, aviation, environment, shelter, and media. Special guest of honor, His Excellency Muhammad Buhari, JCFR, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Chief host, His Excellency Adama Baru, President of the Gambia. Join General Joseph Nunu Mensa, retired Lieutenant General Tuku Buratai, Professor Jacob Mofokin, Dr. Kezie Kazu. It is my pleasure and privilege to invite all of us to the Gambia. I will be there to meet you personally and welcome you. Professor Henry Fauci and many knowledgeable Africans. Conference theme, effective leadership and good governance. Panacea to extremism and insecurity in Africa. Venue, Labranda Coral Beach Resort and Spa, Banjul, the Gambia. Date is 13th to 15th of November, 2018. To join us, contact plus 234-909-915-4789 or plus 234-803-3397522 or email sec Watch Africa 1997 at gmail.com or info at swaace.org. We are all welcome and invited to the Gambia on the Security Watch Africa Conference. It's a peaceful country. We'll support you, we'll secure you, and ensure that everybody's life is secured, your properties are secured. You're welcome. <laughs>
Tony Gambia, the smiling ghost. Africa Security Watch Award. Security is everybody's business, so plan to attend. Security indeed is everybody's business. We must all join hands to ensure that uh, we are more secure than we are today. Um, if there's no security, you will not be there watching me and I won't be here presenting this program to you. Uh, with security, we are able to think of development and plan for the future. So we must take security very seriously and security affects every aspect of our lives. So we must support and uh, the, uh, security. Both young and old must be security conscious so that we can live in peace. Yeah, that was a report from the IGP's conference. It's good that um, uh, the police, they are really strategizing to ensure that there's more security in Nigeria towards, we we'll go towards the uh, 2019 general elections. Um, and like the IGP said, uh, there shouldn't be laxity from any command, uh, police command in the country. Uh, police commands, commissioners must be proactive to ensure that uh, there's no breakdown of law and order. Um, we're getting signed to leave because other programs must continue. But I, I must invite you to join us as we discuss security issues affecting our continent, Africa. We'll be touching a whole lot of issues, uh, urban security protection, maritime domain, uh, terrorism and insurgency. We'll be discussing so many issues, uh, rule of law and uh, law enforcement. So many issues will be discussed. We have knowledgeable Africans that will do justice to this. So join us as we get to the Gambia to look at what is happening in our continent. Uh, we must leave for other programs to continue, like I said earlier. But next week, we'll bring you another exciting, exciting edition of this program. Until next week, we will come your way again. I say bye for now and remain blessed.